James Turley still bears the scars of his horrific ordeal at the hands of a Bain sectarian mob. The 18-year-old from the Short Strand had gone with some of his friends to be an extra on a film being shot in the village area of South Belfast last Friday. But then a gang showed up and the mood turned ugly. The atmosphere started to get quite tense. There was a bit of an interchange between them and some of the extras that we were using in the film. And at that point, we decided the best thing was to leave the location. Um, as we were packing up, we were packing up, trying to get out as quickly as possible. And as we were packing up and as we were leaving, then there was an altercation. One of the car, car was damaged as we were trying to get people off, off, off scene. A few of my friends run towards the car and uh, there wasn't enough space in the car. By, that, by the time I tried to get to the car, the, the, they'd surrounded the car. Alone and terrified, James ran to a house for help. I ran into the house and said to the man, listen, can you please help me? He's like, yeah, and he went out to the hall and they, they were at the door and I heard them saying, there's a tag, there's a tag in there. And I, I'm not sure what happened, but he let them in and I'd get out, like I'd unlock the back door and I'd get out into the back garden and then that's, that's when they all come out and started beating, beating me. Can you remember what happened then? They just had me on the ground, just kicking me and punching me and everything. And I heard the woman saying she was, get him out of my garden. So they dragged me out into the entry and they, just, they started beating me and they put me in a bin. And I didn't know didn't know where I was going. And they they had realised that they couldn't they couldn't beat me while I was in the bin. So they they kicked it or pushed it over and they, they trailed me back out of the bin and they continu they continued beating me and then they they stood on my two hands and that's when they started stamping on my face. And it was very cold. The attack has disturbing echoes of the notorious murder of Protestant woman Margaret Wright in 1994. She was beaten and then shot by a loyalist gang who mistook her for a Catholic at an illegal drinking hall close to where the attack took place on James. Chillingly, her body was found dumped in a wheelie bin. It shouldn't matter where somebody comes from, they shouldn't be subjected to this terror. And that's all it can be described as. Some of those young fellows will take years to get over this attack. I know there's good people in the village. There's no doubt about that. Sinn Féin has worked with them. Uh, Republicans and nationalists from the Lower Armour Road and the market community work with them very, very regularly. So I don't think this is an accurate reflection of them, and I don't take it as such. Um, but what cannot be denied, I mean, we can't get away from it. Um, we can't get away from the fact that James Turley and other young people from the Short Strand were viciously attacked and left for death. I think I'm so lucky to be here. Did you believe you were going to die? Yeah. I literally thought I was dead. When I was in the bed I was like, I didn't know where I was going. I was like, they're going to kill me. Police say they're treating the attack on James and the film crew as sectarian and they've appealed for information. Tracy McGee, UTV Live.